people have more interest in the environment than ever before. Researchers continue their efforts to develop biodegradable materials to replace non-recyclable plastics and environmentally friendly energy as an alternative to oil to cut greenhouse gases. For example, solar energy has great potential as a sustainable energy source. It is eco-friendly and is indefinitely supplied. By using photocatalysts that absorb light and act as catalysts in an excited state, light energy can also be used in chemical reactions. In particular, the reactions which only occurred under harsh conditions such as high temperature using visible light-absorbing photocatalysts can be induced in an eco-friendly way. Now, much research is being conducted in the field of visible light-driven photocatalysis. The research team, led by Professor Kwon Min Tang of Seoul National University, was the world's first to develop a systematic computer-aided design strategy to identify highly efficient, purely organic photocatalysts. The team is also continuing their research to use the photocatalysts, which were developed through design principles in various organic and polymer syntheses. Photocatalysts allow utilizing light energy for chemical reactions. This research field of photocatalysis has been developed rapidly over the past decade. However, well-functioning photocatalysts have been limited to transition metal-based photocatalysts, which include ruthenium or iridium. Transition metal-based photocatalysts are expensive and their use is quite limited in biomedical and electronical applications because the metal components remaining in the product after the reaction may cause problems. Pure organic photocatalysts have less or no toxicity, but it was not easy to discover where functioning photocatalysts for a reaction. The method of try and error by applying candidates to the reaction one by one is inefficient and time consuming. Our research team made it possible to easily develop purely organic photocatalysts, which can efficiently induce desired reactions. If you follow the flowchart we provided, you can design an infinite number of reaction tailored forecast. The catalyst that the research team is developing has a strongly twisted donor acceptor scaffold. To develop a photocatalyst optimized for the target reaction, you identify the required photophysical properties of photocatalysts, select the appropriate donors and acceptors, and find the appropriate photocatalyst. Since there are various molecules which can be used as donors and acceptors, the number of photocatalysts that can be made through the flowchart is theoretically infinite. The research team found around 30 photocatalysts and successfully used them in photoredox-mediated atom transfer radical polymerization reactions. The amount of photocatalysts required for polymerization has been reduced to a few ppm, which is only a hundredth or a thousandth of that reported so far. If you use purely organic photocatalysts in significantly small amounts, there is no need to purify the catalyst from the polymer product. Accordingly, you can simplify processes, lower production costs, and use polymers in biological and medical fields without problems and without purification process. As photocatalysts can also be used for various reactions other than polymerization, such as water splitting and artificial photosynthesis, facial developments of reaction tailored catalysts is attractive and important. Moreover, by applying one catalyst to multiple reactions or multiple catalysts to one reaction, you can examine the structure property performance relationship of catalysts to a given reaction and find an important clue to study the principle of underlying photophysical phenomena or reaction mechanisms. The research team also confirmed that 4DP IPN, their newly developed catalyst, performed excellently in several organic polymer syntheses, including photo-induced electron energy transfer reversible addition fragmentation chain transfer polymerization. Recently, the team modified the structure of the catalyst to increase its aqueous solubility and to reduce PET raft polymerizations in aqueous solution. Water is an environmentally benign and biocompatible solvent, but the aqueous soluble photocatalysts have been quite limited. Very recently, our research team reported a novel purely organic photocatalyst, which is aqueous soluble and biocompatible 
while maintaining 40p IPNs, excellent photocatalytic performance. The new catalyst successfully synthesized a polymer through the aqueous p 2 reactive polymerization reaction under green light radiation. Benefiting from the mildness of green light, proteins and living cells can also be utilized. For example, when you synthesize polymer from a functionalized protein macroinitiator, you can synthesize protein polymer conjugate or PPCs, the combination of natural polymer and a synthetic polymer. The properties of PPCs can be adjusted depending on the type or length of the combined polymer chain. It has been well known that increasing aqueous solubility and stability helps therapeutic proteins work well in the body. As shown in our research, you could also modulate protein activity, for example, esterase activity of bovine serum albumin. Since it becomes possible to synthesize a wide range of protein polymer conjugate, protein-based novel materials can be developed in the near future and then utilized for precious metal capture or plastic degradation. The study, which established a platform that enables a rational design of reaction-tailored purely organic photocatalysts and which developed a novel aqueous-soluble photocatalyst for efficient protein polymer conjugate synthesis, was published in Nature Catalyst and Advanced Materials, respectively. Well-designed photocatalysts and visible light-driven photocatalysis simplify reaction processes, enhance productivity, enable reactions and preparation of functional materials that were previously impossible. Hopefully, related studies will be actively conducted to pave the way for eco-friendly and sustainable future. <laughs>